Hi, I created this Christmas tree animation with SwiftUI a few days ago. All the views and the animation are hidden in this C stack. So I posted the animation on Twitter and here there have been a lot of comments about what is hidden in this C stack. Also, I posted the same animation on LinkedIn and people have been commenting on where to get the code. You can find the code in the GitHub repository Open Swift UI Animation. You can find a preview as well as the code here. So you can copy the code and just experiment with how it works. So in this video, I would like to walk you through the animation and how the views are constructed. So let's begin. Let's double click on this three dots to reveal what is hidden in the Z stack. So the Z stack consists of a bunch of circles with 3D rotation on the X axis. The animation for each circle is the same, but they have different delays. So I'm going to use the bottommost circle, that is the green circle, to illustrate how the animation works. Let's place a comment on the remaining circles. So this is the green circle, and from here we have the remaining circles. So I'm going to put a comment here, all the way up to this C stack. So we have only one circle remaining now. Let's remove the 3D rotation here. You can see we have a normal circle with the stars rotating around the circle. As the stars revolve on the circle, their color also changes. This is using the hue rotation modifier with the state variable spinning. I created this state variable and set the initial state to false. And all the animations use this state variable. So this is the container holding all the views. And as all the views appear, we use the onAppear modifier to toggle the state variable. So what is here rotation? Let's go to the Mozilla website to see what it is about. It is stated here, it rotates the hue of an element and its contents. So you can use an angle of zero up to 360 degrees. For example, let's change this 90 degrees to 150. It changes the color of the logo. Let's change it to 220 and we get different color as well. So using the hue rotation modifier in Swift UI, we can rotate the chroma or the color values of views. Let's go back again. Here I use the state variable along with ternary conditional operation. So a ternary operation evaluates condition. So the condition here is the state variable and it has two values, true and false. So when this condition is true, we output this value. That is, we take each of the stars and multiply its angle by 310. And when the condition is false, we take each of the stars and multiply its angle by 50. So if I put a comment here, as the stars are spinning on the circle, their color don't change at all. So this is how to use the hue rotation modifier to rotate the chroma of views in SwiftUI. Let's move on to the next. To get the stars to spin on the circular path, we need to use offset and rotation. Let's remove this offset, for example, and place it below this rotation effect modifier. We have all the stars, but they are now positioned at one location and they just rotate at one particular location. So to move them apart, we can use the rotation effect. So let's copy this one and place it below the offset. To be able to move them apart, we need to place the offset above rotation effect. So if I place it here, you can see we have the four stars separated, but they all rotate at one location. We can also add more stars, for example, changing this to eight. And now we need to change the angle of rotation. So let's change this to, for example, 60. You can now see we have more stars on the circle, but they rotate at the same location. Let's press Command and Z to undo the change. We need only four stars. So to make them move along the circle, we need to use offset rotate. That is what I said in the beginning of this video. Let's see how offset rotate works by going to the Mozilla website. Offset rotate defines the orientation or direction of the element as it is positioned along the offset path. So you can see here, this makes it possible for the object 
to move along the path. And as I said previously, to be able to do that, we need to place the rotation below offset. One other example can be found on GitHub. Here, I use the same thing to move the pencil icon along the circle. So you can see we have the angle of rotation here. The initial state of the animation is set to zero. When the view appears, I set the angle of rotation to 360 degrees. And to be able to get the pencil icon move around the circle, I place the offset just above the rotation effect. If the offset is below rotation effect, the object will be rotating at the same position like we see over here. The Z stack has a width of 290 and a height of 290. So the green circle occupies the whole width and height of the parent container that is 290. So to move the stars exactly on the circular path, we need to use the radius of the circle. So we have the diameter to be 290. If we divide it by two, we get 145. Let's change this to, for example, 290. That is the diameter of the circle. So we have one over here and all the remaining are hidden outside the screen. If we change it to 90, for example, we now reduce the gap. We can also remove the negative sign and it works in the same way. Or we can use the X offset as well. So let's change it back to as it was by pressing Command and C. So let's remove the rotation effect here because we don't need it again. And since we want the stars to move along the circular path, let's remove the offset from here again and place it above the rotation effect. Then we can now apply the 3D rotation as well. At this point, we set the 3D rotation angle to 60. And then we set the X coordinate to one and the remaining coordinate Y and Z to zero. This is the same for all the other circles. The last thing we will do here is to change the number of stars. Let's change it to, for example, 12. We don't see any difference because we need to change the angle of rotation as well. So let's use, for example, 30. So this is how to create the Christmas tree animation with SwiftUI using basic rotation techniques. In another LinkedIn post, I added the effects library to create New Year Eve's fireworks animation. With the effects library, you can add effects such as snow, fireworks, and confetti to SwiftUI views. So in this post, this is how the final animation looks like. I added fireworks animation to the Christmas tree animation I showed previously. So to integrate the effects library with your app, you can go to the GitHub repo effects library. With this, I will end here. Thanks for watching this video.